What's going on everyone? How you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, just wanted to kind of go over this news. Check it out. So huge news for Kronos Chain and KronosCrypto.com. One of my bigger bags and part of the reason why is just because they got so much utility. Uh, Kronos Chain actually reminds me of Binance Chain because, you know, Binance Chain, BEP20, smart contracts, liquidity pools, uh, centralized exchange, but they do also have a decentralized ex exchange, which is on the Kronos side. But anyways, I want to get into this news and uh, it's actually great news for the Kronos holders. So like I said, it's one of my bigger bags. I might be a little biased, but hey, you know what? Um, so anyways, comes over here, Google Cloud becomes main validator on Kronos blockchain. So Google Cloud will contribute to Kronos decentralization and security along with other notable validators like Crypto.com and BlockDaemon. So I want you to get this clear. A lot of people partner up with Google to use the Google Cloud services, but in this case, this is actually Google Cloud has become the main validator on the Kronos blockchain. So just be careful of the wording on how some companies word things, okay? So showcasing the growing adoption of cryptocurrency by global technology giants. As an expansion of the strategic partnerships with Kronos Labs, Google Cloud will become the main validator on the blockchain, aiming to bring more technical innovation increase developer adoption on the network. So anyways, some key points here. So as the primary validator, Google Cloud is joining a pool of 32 validators. So a pool of 32 validators, which is, um, you know, huge news. Like I mentioned, this is huge news for, for Kronos. And this is on the Kronos EVM, so the Ethereum Virtual Machine Protocol, contributing to security and decentralization of the network by producing and confirming new blocks. Okay, so this is massive, massive news. Also, the other um, big piece of news here uh, for Kronos, this was even before... So Kronos is just on a tear, like Crypto.com is just on a tear. And like I mentioned, I think this is going to be the next Binance or the next BNB. I don't, you know, obviously it's got a far way to go in terms of market cap and stock price because of the amount of tokens that are out there available for Crypto.com. You know, we're talking about like 50 billion, but they also introduced a burn mechanism on Kronos. So based on, I think it's quarterly revenue, they actually, it's now deflationary because the total supply, I think, is now around 30 billion. But every quarter, based on revenue, they're going to be actually burning. So anyways, um, over here, Crypto.com aims for 2025 launch of own their own stablecoin, ETF listings, as well as featuring stocks in the U.S. and a U.S. expansion. So this is massive. I think 2025 is going to be massive for, for Crypto.com, like I mentioned. In this article from Crypto Slate, Crypto.com aims to expand its crypto offerings to include stablecoins and an ETF exchange traded fund product in 2025. So if you're familiar, so if you're used to using the Crypto.com card right now, a lot of the users, um, the stablecoin of choice is USDC. But in 2025, they're going to be actually getting their own stablecoin. So this is another huge commitment um, from Crypto.com. Bullish, bullish, bullish news. So... And like I mentioned, um, you know, the, the amount of share marketing that they're doing with the UFC, the Lakers arena is called, you know, the Crypto.com. It used to be called the Staples Center. Now it's called the Crypto.com Center. They partnered up with the Philadelphia 76ers, um, the Lakers Stadium, UFC, I think a Euro Soccer League and a couple of more. So anyways, Crypto.com is on a tear. My price prediction is probably going to surpass the all-time high. I don't know exactly what is what it's going to be, but um, for sure in my books, and I'm probably biased because I hold, that's one of my bigger bags. I think it's going to surpass its all-time high when Bitcoin starts to reach, you know, the six figures, 150. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.